Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Uh, there are some people who want a, re a review about Big Mama and their IPs. So here is the review. Before I go to the review, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, can you hit the subscribe button? I will be very very much grateful. So without wasting time, let's go to Big Mama site. Where is it? So this is the front page of Big Mama. You know all their capabilities, so just log in. And of course, for you to register on Big Mama, sometimes they require a referral link from person who is registered. I'm going to pin my link under the video description for easy for easy registration sorry guys i'm a bit on a fever that's why my voice is a bit different today so before you even go further uh before using big mama uh, at the top right corner here you have to find your account so you click there top right corner and it will bring you to this funding page you can find using btc ltc or usdt tlc20 so you're going to find money so that we can use use it for buying for testing out their ips i'm also going to get a clip of this video and put it under my youtube shots for easy reference on those who don't know how to deposit using cryptocurrency so let's proceed remember the minimum for usdt as 20 tlc 20 is 10 and the minimum for ltc is ltc is around five dollars yeah the minimum for btc is also Five, but the minimum for USDT is around 10 eh? so let's proceed I'm doing this for those people who are asking me questions on how to do it so uh, in crypto now uh, now if you click the add file they take you to this page so just take this copy this address here copy now go to your Binance account you see go to where you have usdt here this is mine here click on it click withdraw you can do it the same way in a wallet so with the draw you see once you draw once you click with the draw you paste your address here then you choose the network. Remember the network is TLC20, this one. They have so many networks, eh? so click on it, TLC20, this one. I want us as we continue reviewing other, other features so that our deposit will be confirming. So you can see, it's TLC20, minimum withdrawal is 10, so we are going to withdraw $11 from my balance, from my spot wallet balance. So, and then I'm going to receive the exactly $10 fee is 1 USDT, so we withdraw. That's how you fund. Then you confirm all the details are correct. This is the address. The address is the same. So, once you confirm everything is okay, the network is okay, click send. Then you have to authenticate using your authenticator apps this is normal for verification before you cash out making sure that you don't lose your money now i'm verified my switching approval so guys my video has been submitted so guys that's how you deposit on big mama so just click complete here see see my balance has reduced so now let's go to big mama on the payment page once they receive the payment they're going to update here on my balance And here you should send 
your balance within the first 40 minutes. If you send funds after this time, they will not receive the transaction and your amount to be lost. There is also no way to find this transaction and it manually. For sending cryptos, be sure that the wallet you are. You see, I think my my transaction has come through. It's pending now and it will be updated on, on my balance. As wait for it to be updated now, let's go to Big Mama site. Aha, uh -huh. I want to I want to finish with this shop. So first of all, Big Mama have rotating IPs. Hmm? They have static IPs. You see? And the static IPs are very, very expensive. And you can see they have uh, various ISP providers, these ones. But my attention today is not about these ones. I'll show you where. Then if you buy any proxies, they are going to appear here. Payments, you see, my payment has reflected. So let me refresh. You see, my payment has reflected. We have just deposited $10 from my Binance account. So without wasting time, I want to show you how to select proxies. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to show you rotating or static proxies. I'm going to use the shop here. So, before even deciding to select the proxies here, come to the clean, start with the value of 8, put an 8 there, from uh, the, the clean IP from the value of 8 is usually very very nice, also shared, always pick private, under connection, and new, under connection always leave any, because Wi-Fi works even better than cell, because Wi-Fi IP rarely change, they are removed, so they stay online for a very long time. Cell, they are very good, but sometimes they can change the location or they can be switched off by the owner. This one is a Wi-Fi router, this one is from a real mobile device. New, doesn't matter whether new or old. So these are the two main parameters to change, clean and shared. Always be private, just follow what I'm doing. Another thing about uh, using Big Mama IP, uh, for, uh, I forget using the well-known ISPs. Don't uh, be rocked on only using raw, high, common or mostly common IPs like uh, AT, AT and T, uh, Verizon, T-Mobile. Those ISPs are overused by people everywhere. But there are others like these ones. Eh? Some might be from little devices or something like these ones. Eh? This they look weird, like free range crowd, like Crocker Communications. These weird uh, sounding names, ISPs, they have an amazing uptime and they can make you crazy money at a very, very low cost. Just make sure when you're buying them, you don't click the shared one, you click the, pri you click the private one. For example, I want us to try one, but you know, let's first of all check others. Also, I have made a list of some various ISP to look for, like uh, Cellular One, Cspire, USC Cellular. These are ISPs mostly used on Big Mama. You can check them. Uh, you can check them out and see whether they are good. You see these ones. So let's try like Frontier Communication here. I've just listed some few, but always make sure you check this weird looking. ISP providers are the best as long as they are private and either Wi-Fi or cell. But here, the one we are provided here, they are private and Wi-Fi. So they can even last amazingly long. And also, you can also check under the blacklist record, they are clean. See, even this rumen is a bit, you can get a very good one. They have amazing speeds. You see, they have amazing speeds. Most people overlook this one. So let us check uh, like uh, Frontier Communications. You see? This is new or not new doesn't matter. So for example, Frontier Communication, you can check one. Eh? You connect one and see. So the main trick is just setting up the screen and shared here. And also using less known ISPs. Also make sure they are always private. For example, I want us to try one. Uh-huh. Which one should we try now? 
we can try what we can try which one the one which is new or not we can try this one no back clicks record so we can buy yeah you can always renew see that one we have bought that one so under my proxies you're going to get it here also if the proxy is very good you want to retain it for a lot of time you can just click auto renew and it will be renewing itself automatically after every 24 hours i'm not i'm not hiding any detail here you can copy it and test it out on yourself yeah so now you i want us to connect it gives you username password uh, and what password when ip and port so i want us to test it out on an anti-detect browser so let me open an anti-detect browser like uh, which one should i use today one i have so many anti-tech browsers eh? and i'm always using free profiles so i don't subscribe i only use anti browsers which offer a lot of many free profiles so let me i want us to test the ip now so mm -hmm. so let's test it on this one let me edit here and a new proxy socks 5 let me input now the details i put the ip setting up a proxy on Dolphin and tech browser is a bit different, so don't worry. Then uh, password. I'm not hiding it because I'm testing it. So you can, if you want to use it, you can use it for, for your benefit. So that's it. Let's check now. You see, our proxy is online, eh? So just click save. To set to open this profile here yeah I'm using uh, I'm using what I'm using Dolphin Antitech browser and for their time zone sometimes this browser takes your devices time zone and my device time zone is not well set that's why the anonymity is not 100% but if I would be working on a survey, I would have sent the, I would have set my devices time zone so that the anonymity can be a hundred percent. You can see that's why it's not hundred percent, but the IP is fine. Eh? Yeah, so that's only disadvantage of of Dolphin anti detect browser. Uh, it takes the time of your device, but other factors are, are anonymous. So let me. Uh, the reason I checked on Opinion Edge, this is the best site for checking your IP quality. If you can be able to, if you can be able to log in, it gives you the, this login page without telling you that your location is not the same as your device. Just know that your IP is perfect. This site is high level security. They detect your IP, whether it's real or it's not. So you can see the IP I picked from. The IP I picked from what? From Big Mama, the Frontier one, the Frontier Communication, it's working well on Opinion Edge. Trust me, when working on Opinion Edge with a raw quality IP, if you click join now page, it will be telling you that your location is wrong. It's not on the same. Yeah, your location is weird or something. You're not in the same location or something. Those people who have used Opinion Edge know about it. I'm going to review Opinion Edge in my next video. So so guys always make sure that you pick those ips which are less common which are less commonly used like the 
Frontier Communications. So that's the whole point of this short video. Oh, I've used a uh, $1.80, but that's the all, that's the gist behind picking Big Mama proxies. Avoid using big, uh, proxies from famous brands like uh, AT&T, Verizon Business. Those IPs are overused. For example, the, the IP I picked here, this Frontier Communication IP here, my proxy where I did. This one here, sometimes can last even months and months before going off. And for you to continue using it as, stat as a static IP, just click here, renew. And it will be auto renewing it. It will be auto renewing itself after every 24 hours. It will be charging you around one dollar. So one dollar times thirty dollars. Let's say around uh, fifty, sixty dollars per month. And you'll be having a static IPs which you can work on, which you can use to work on opinion edge like this one. Very very nice. Yeah. And you can use you can set it up on any anti tech browser. So don't don't think you can only work on. Dolphin anti tech browser. Dolphin anti, -anti tech browser sometimes they don't take your time location. So try to use other anti tech browser. I use this one for just for demonstration. So that's it. Uh, so under shop. So I just use one of the IPs here. You can also try USA cellular like this one. These are among the few ISPs I was able to locate that are amazingly good and they are less known to people yeah so you can even use another one here this is you see wrong view so i don't know if i think i can risk another et yeah for my fans i'm doing this for my people because of their love and their support that's why i'm showing you the trick of getting the best proxies so we go where? We go to Angeles. Or well, which which test we can pick? Can pick any? All of them are green. All of them are green, 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 green. They're good. So let me try this one. By private. So. Now my proxy is here. Don't want to renew because I'm not using it. So, oh, one more thing, eh? The remember the first one for Frontier was for Wi-Fi, but the one for cellular, it's actually a mobile ISP, but it's less known to people. You see, perfect. The only disadvantage about mobile. Sometimes they turn off because they are from real devices. Eh? Sometimes they go off. So I think uh, the the port. Let me check. Let me close this one. Let me go to Antec browser. I close this one. Let me go to edit. Let me go to set up a new proxy or old proxies. Let me set a new one. Where the previous saved proxies or something. Uh, no problem, let me set a new, a new one. Eh? It's a big tactic setting it up on uh, setting up a proxy on Dolphin. So, it, and don't be limited to Dolphin, you can use on any website. You can set it up on any anti tech browser. Online. Remember, you have changed now to the one we have changed now. So this one, save. So here, the IP is for Iowa. I don't know the pronunciation or Ravage City. And it's under US cellular. So we should see that when you connect. So we have set here on this profile for demonstration. Okay. This one, the time zone for US cellular and my device are the same. So that's why it, can, it has come to 100% anonymity. Yeah, get it? Yeah, that's how you do it, man. That's why you should be getting quality IPs from Big Mama at a very low cost. Because you, you, if you have seen,
that one was not a good one eh? you see this one did not follow our plan so we go back so another big mama oh. you can select any proxy sites which are as common that's the main point don't be don't be rocked on the same ones which have listed here you can choose any other as long as us they are not the most commonly used isps that's the main point of this one even this free range crowd you can be surprised how much they work better than the common ones you know eh? so the main point of this video is to tell you that you can use other isps eh? less commonly known by people and they last amazingly long on uh yeah they stay amazing they can stay months and months online you just enable the auto renew feature and it will be renewing itself for you and it's a bit cheaper compared to the static compared to the static ips for big mama here which are a bit expensive this one yeah so that was the small update i wanted to show you i've shown you how to deposit money on your big mama account and how to, to select good isps on on big mama but i'm not saying that the most common uh, ISPs like T-Mobile, Verizon Business, at and are not good but the chances of getting a wrong lasting IPs from those but um, commonly used ISP is very very low but the, the other less, less commonly used uh, ISPs the chances of getting a very good one is very very high you see so just come and check on any city and use even century link is very very good they are less commonly used by people but t-mobile and uh verizon and at and comcast cable are really used but sometimes even comcast cable they provide very good ips for surveys i'm tempted to test comcast cable so let me check one here let me test this one and let me test comcast cable and they say that their ips you can get a refund you can only refund in the first four hours of this of the risk if the process goes offline that's a very cool feature so another thing the ips with 100 percent activity are the best that's another thing i've noticed eh? the ones which have 100 percent activity if you recall in this one frontier has a above 80 percent activity and that's why it was working well so even this one has oh 71 percent activity so let's try this one and see how it will go so just check this one let me close uh, this page because i want to load another ip so come here So the IP is online, Colorado Denver. So just save it, and then click here. Check your details. Even for the US cellular, sometimes you can get a good one, sometimes not. So for US cellular, it's not a guaranteed one, as I said, as I said earlier. So the time zone for my IP and my device are the same. That's why. You can see the 100% anonymity very clearly. Remember, you have used Comcast cable, Comcast cable, and that's why at least you can see Big Mama IPs are perfect. They give you what they say. So, opinion edge is opening as usual. Let me let's track here because I'm not sure about this Comcast. Wow, this IP is perfect. It's also opening opinion edge. If you click join now, it's opening very well. So guys, those are the few tricks you can use to select Big Mama IP. But for US cellular and Comcast cable, they are a bit common. 
so chances of getting a good ip sometimes is very very low yeah but you can try your rack if you have a lot of more funds in your account if you don't have a lot of funds try using the the rest common isps which i showed you earlier like century link also no this one is common this one are the most common ones use the rest common ones the, the one i showed you earlier like this one light gig arrow communications tds telecom also, the reason why RS is good, but chances of getting a good one is a bit tricky. So, that's all about... Uh, and also, always use private IPs. They are a bit expensive and uh, shop, but they are the best to work on on surveys. So guys, that was the small update. Thank you for watching. Keep it locked to my next video.